So against Priest Rogue, we essentially want to hammer purges into the rogue and try to sheep the priest. If we get a sheep on the priest, we pretty much force cloak or rogue is dead. If the priest doesn't have trinket. Trying to avoid getting sapped using rank 1 renew on the mage. Mage is rank 1 blizzarding the priest. We can push in somewhat. Don't want to push in too much because if the rogue opens on me, obviously the priest can purge me down and they can create pressure on me. Um, don't actually manage to get a shield off there. That's a shame. Could I have shielded here? Yeah, I had I had time to shield, so I should have reshielded prior there before the kidney came over uh, getting purges. I would have been much higher health. I would have been like 90% health now. Go for the shield now, but it was just, it's just unnecessary pressure on us. You know, it could pan out a different way if they decide to all in us. So just small things that can make a difference, really. Rogue cloaks for no reason. So this game is done, basically. Like, as soon as this priest gets feared, he's going to get sheeped out. And it's over. The rogue's under too much pressure. I think he's just going to die in the fear, even. Unless he does a nutty kite. Yep. So... Yeah, the rogue just wasted his cloak, basically, in that game. So again, River trying to get the rogue out with rank 1 Blizzard. It's hard to get in combat on this map. I'm most likely going to get sapped. I'm going to throw out an MD. Okay, so he doesn't actually go for the sap. He goes for the opener on me. Out of range of his priest, which is kind of weird because they kind of want to purge me to be able to do anything. Priest gets uh, sheeped using MCS. And we force our rogue vanish. This was actually poor. I should have been uh I should have re-rank one renewed river here. I would have been able to avoid the sap. Because he's in combat, you can see. It's actually weird. Oh, okay, I rank one renew I renew myself instead of river. If I renewed river there, then he it, it would have been fine. I wouldn't have got sapped. Uh rogue's in stealth, he's not doing anything with the sap. He's mostly just trying to live with it. He reopens on me, his cheap shot is DR'd. Gonna purge Priest Egg, he's in the open. Insta real shield after the stun is good. Rogue gets sheeped. Rogue has wasted evasion, he wants to prep. Should rebuff in a fire here, yep, there it is. Rogue uses step kick. Get a fear, this was risky on Shadow Prop, but it didn't have a lot of choice. They're very all in on me at this point. Priest gets sheeped, so Rogue is sitting in the fear. Doesn't want to will it. I don't think he has step. Okay, he prep steps and vanishes. So he has no vanish, no cloak, no prep, no step. So he's definitely kiteable now. So I'm just like keeping my distance. He can't do anything to me. He actually has blind, so I should be keeping range for that. He might blind me here. So I'm just trying to purge Rogue. Get the shield off straight away. He blinds mage, actually. And I use a lot of mana there, but I've got Fiend on him, which is okay. I don't think he has... Yeah, okay, he does have another evasion from the prep. Uh, I think I swapped the Fiend over to the Priest here. And we're just, like, hoping the Priest doesn't shield it, basically. Like, I think he shields the Rogue, but not himself. So the Fiend is giving us mana still, which is nice. And now I've pulled far, really far back, because my mana is not great compared to his. And I just really don't want to lose the game on mana, right? So this is why I've pulled right back to the base. He can come and sap me if he wants, right? I have shield, I'm safe, I've got trinket, I've got stone form, I've got desperate prayer, like there's no, I actually don't have desperate prayer, but I have stone form. There's not a massive burden on me if he goes on me in here, and if he saps, then river's way out. So he manages to get the nova. Uh, it instantly gets cloaked, so now we have a, an opportunity to kill, basically. Let's hope he doesn't get one shot here. He doesn't, which is hype. Maybe try and chast chastise rogue, yep. We get a little bit more of a kite off. He doesn't have block available, but we can heal efficiently with greater here, but it's, yeah, it's a lot of mana. And we're going to counter burn the priest here, which I think is okay. Rogue doesn't have cloak. So we came out ahead on the burns. Going to fear the rogue. And he takes a shit ton of damage from that fear, actually. Like, still have PS, last ditch effort. Force to cheat death. 
just waiting for mana to tick. Managed to dispel the shield and he gets fire blasted and dies. So this was this was actually way closer than it needed to be. Like there were certain there were certain situations where we could have pressed more on the rogue when he didn't have cloak or anything. Um and we obviously lost a lot of momentum when I got sapped. Okay. Um so definitely some improvements we could do there. Um, it's mostly about when we decide to, you know, kind of all in and push on top of them to go for the kill on the rogue. And how much we hammer purges into them to force, you know, pressure on the priest rather than getting any sort of burns on the priest or anything like that. So rogue opens on me here. Insta reshield. This was nice. He goes for the expose. Uh, and rogue is nova behind the pillar from the priest now. This is not ideal for him. Nova breaks, a chuck a chastise on him, vanish uh, into Garot on me. Priest PS is the rogue. I should be reshielding. I don't reshield. Okay, I need to be better on that. I could have reshielded a lot sooner here. I've done it now. Like, if the rogue decides to, uh, to use a vanish on me there, I'm going to be under a lot of pressure and have to blow stone forms. And it could just be resolved by just a simple reshield as soon as I can. Uh, replay in a fire. And I'm pushing on Priest now because Rogue is staying in stealth. I'm not sure why the Rogue is staying in stealth, to be honest. He, like, Priest eats two burns for free. Like, Rogue's staying in stealth, but he, I think he has Cloak available. So it's like a massive waste. I resist Kidney there. And we just get massively ahead on mana because of a couple of burns there. Decide to stone form because my mana is not amazing, so I don't want to stay in a, an unfavorable, unfavorable position, which is okay. We can push in now. I feel like he still has cloak. I don't unless my UI is bugged. And he cloaked earlier. I'll have to check. He's like holding on to it for dear life. Blinds me on the grate. I'm a bit too great greedy with my graters. I might try and flash a little bit more. I feel like I'm trying to grate a lot lately and it's not that good. In terms of mana. It's like it's better than flash, but it's not amazing. So I'm oom here. This is not good for me. I think I need to be more careful with my mana in this matchup because I feel like I'm ooming a lot in this matchup. And we get to this kind of position where I'm oom and the other priest is oom. And it gets really sketch. We managed to take take away the win here, but again, it could have been a lot cleaner. So I believe this is undead again. Oh, the pillar screws up my mount. Very nice. Insta blind on me. I think I just go a little bit too close there. Like, there's no real need to. River gets full purged. It's uh, it's human, human rogue actually, not undead. So pushing on on fears oh, on priest for fears definitely an option. We get a crazy pressure on the rogue here actually early on. Force the cloak just with like MCS basically. Managed to get the shield off. Need to get a dot on him really. Might get it here. Yeah, I got a rank one dot on him there. He steps back up, actually. Maybe I could push on the priest there for fear. Like, right there. That might be might have been a good play. He gets re-CS and dies. But I think I could have maybe gone for a fear here. Like, here. He steps up. And, like, right now I can just run at the priest, right? I have fear ward. Priest has Trinket, but it's like, we're going to force it, right, for sure. So if we don't kill the rogue here, it's like, next go, we're going to kill. So I didn't need to come up here. I could have just ran at the priest. I needed to pressure him more here. Old man Hixie. Thank you for the prime, dude. Um, so this is the same team again. So I think we lose this one, so let's see if we can find the mistake. So I, again, I shield too late there. I could have shielded him a lot sooner. We managed to clean the rogue, mind blast on the rogue. Maybe I shouldn't be mind blasting, I don't know. We forced the cheat death and the cloak, 1%. Uh, do I keep the rogue? Go for the MD, risky MD. I think I think I need to be more careful with things like that in this matchup and just generally conserve mana better. 
Could have bang bangled already as well. I didn't bangle very early. Here I'm actually pushing on the priest more though. He fields my fear. I need to be more careful of that. Should be checking to see if he has it or if he can do it. I need to be maybe pressuring more with burns as well earlier on, but I didn't want to open up myself to a blind. The rogue is going to have cloak back soon. Get the rank one dot. I think I need to also look for more opportunities to drink. Like when we have pressure, maybe. Because I feel like I'm constantly going aggressive and it's like a bait. Shield resists two dispels while fiends up. You love to see it. Fiend on the rogue during cloak. So this game has not been terrible, but it's not been great either. Like I can I can probably just go for a drink here. I think I should just go for a drink here. Keeping the rogue is okay too. River getting an Evo off. I think once I keep him once, I need to go for a drink and I need to be more like firm that I need to drink. Because this is this was like such a good opportunity to drink. And if I don't go oom, um, we're never losing this matchup. We go we lose this matchup because I'm oom. Um. And even now, like, I'm ahead on mana. And we might, we managed to get oomed, mostly because of, like, wound, right? Got a nice grater off here. I think I try and drink now. I'm, like, pushing in to try and end the game. But Rogue has Cloak, so I don't think that's the correct play here. I think I should be... I should have gone behind the pillar there when I pushed in to drink because Rogue has Cloak. And River can stop the priest drinks. PS wasn't amazing. Now PS got wasted, man. I don't have Fearward, so it's kind of hard to push on the Priest here. I maybe should track Fearward on here. That would be good. Something I'm going to add to my UI. I need to be able to see when that shits up. And now, finally, I go for a drink, right? It's way too late. And the Rogue has Cloak, right? So now was not the good time to drink, right? Because we could, if I had mana here, we could have killed. He goes to 1%, gets a shield. And River's in a blind, so he can't finish him off. But, like, he would have taken a lot more damage there had I not been drinking during that go when the priest had, the, the rogue had no cloak. Now the rogue has cloak back. And I'm still playing overly aggressive when I have very little mana. Kind of scared because I want to force the rogue off, right? Because River's basically paper. And then he just two shots him with crits. So, I mean, this just came, this whole game came down to not drinking enough. There was a lot of opportunities where I could drink. Uh, and there was some opportunities where I should be more aggressive when he doesn't have cloak. Like, basically, if Rogue doesn't have cloak, we should just fucking run on the priest, I swear. Wanding is bad damage, but it goes through cloak. And it doesn't cost mana. So there's situations where it's good. And you can do it while silenced as well. Rogue just gets a crazy amount of damage again in here. Land a burn on the priest. This was nice. Ooh, bad PS again from me. Need to be more careful with that. Get gouge. Priest has used field. He dispels my field. This is unfortunate. River stole his field, actually, which is nice. And I think here, the rogue doesn't have cloak, right? Priest gets CS4. I mean, this was all River killing them, basically, like I was in a fear due to that gouge. Um, but definitely some things to clean up there with regards to when I'm pushing. Need to be more mindful of it. 
like why I'm pushing if is the rogue's cloak down, is the priest's fear down? Do we have pressure? Or should I go for a drink if the rogue's cloak is up and we're not creating pressure at that time? We get the rogue's cloak now. Get the banish. Just staying up, trying to keep the rogue in, make it hard for him. Maybe get a burn? Nope. Okay, so that's the second vanish. Manages to get it. Gonna dispel him after the PS, and the shield comes off and he insta dies. This was nice. So it was decent offensive play here, fearing at the correct time to be detrimental to what the priest is trying to do. Um, so again, I'm just staying up, not over committing too much. I don't want to go and get sapped in a spot where the priest can clean me for free. If he wants to clean me, we want him to have to come out, basically. Getting some purges in on the priest here because he got frostbited, which is nice. Gonna rebuff myself with rank ones so we can protect the field. I haven't fielded yet because I was scared of getting sapped and cleaned. So that's the reason I don't, don't start with the field. Against Priest Rogue. So yeah, nothing nothing really happened yet. Mostly just like posturing around. I actually made me yeah, I get a chastised burn on him here, which is cheeky. Just keeping shields up, ready for the rogue opener. Throwing out some novas, trying to keep my mana up. And getting purges in on the priest while maintaining my own buffs. River actually gets sapped. Oh yeah, okay, so this was a mistake by me here. I should be I should use rank one. So he trinkets and, and trinkets the sap and blizzards the priest. So I should just rank one um renew him. I rank one Nova him and it heals him, but that doesn't put me in combat. So I get sapped. So this was a small mistake by me, leading to a sap. Which could have been avoided. We so we waste an extra block because of it. It's kinda sad. He trick blinds, obviously I trinket it. PS. So we use a lot of cooldowns just because this sap, right? So a little mistake leading to a, you know, falling behind a fair bit. Uh, Rogue is out now, though. I have I get him out again. Gonna reshield. Okay, good. This was nice. Keeping the road clean, getting the shields off so that we can pressure. We get a cloak vanish out of him. So he has. He has prep left, but and what what actually got him out there? Oh, River has eye. He gets him out with something in cloak. I think he arcane missiled him in cloak and one of them hit when he was in stealth. Something like that. So Rogue actually has nothing left now. Managed to get everything off him. Trying to get the shield. Oh, so he he doesn't have cheat death and he manages to shield the moment I death, which is a bit unfortunate. Gonna pop Fiend on him. My Fiend, I think, again, is a little bit late here. Managed to get a blast, though, and he's dead. Um, I'm not sure if it's a leak or not, not pushing on the Priest for fear. I feel like it's unnecessary. And as long as I'm dispelling the rogue and keeping my mana up, we're going to win. And then if, if he's behind, then I can try and push for a fear and just like waste his time a little bit with the fear wall. I feel like that's the play. I think this was maybe the last priest rogue game though. Let's take a look. Okay, we've got another one against this team. See how this one goes. This is around 2.5 MMR again. So we don't get in combat this time. How do we not get in combat? Oh, it's okay. So here's what happened here. Uh, I fucked up and put a max rank renew on River. So I couldn't rank one renew him. And I was like telling him, click it off, click it off, click it off. 
I, I can't remember why he didn't, he didn't for whatever reason. So I couldn't rank one renew him. And I was too greedy to max rank renew to stay in combat. So I got sapped. Uh, it didn't do that much. So I think he maybe opens on me after. There's a resap because I lose my shield because of it. So they're actually in a position to open on me. They don't, I guess. River's fully purged. Getting burned out of the cheap shot. Trinkets it, gets full kidney, blinks it. So we get some purges on the on the rogue. So this sap wasn't as detrimental as the last game. Rogue gets a re-off. Gets blizzard to die. This is nice. I'm just trying to like hop in and out without too much happening. Priest resists the fear. Rogue wills. I maybe shouldn't have feared there. I don't know. Because he still had Shadow Prot. We got the Rogue's Will though. And now here. Maybe it's worth trying to drink. I saved the Ellie actually with a shield. That was nice. No, it dies anyway. So I do go for the drink now. So I'm actually improving with the going for going for regen, which is nice to see. He distracts after one tick. But still one tick is like 10%. Get the shield off. Rank one pain. River's getting an Evo off. So mana is decent this game so far for us. Rogue uses a vanish, gets a sap. I'm kiting the rogue though, so the sap doesn't do too much. Stop the drink. Priest fields, get that off. Fear both. Nice. Priest now wills, because he had it before and dispels the rogue. Um This is why the first resist was kind of bad. If he doesn't have will there, it's so good for us. But I was also on top of a poly, so I'm not sure. Uh gave River PI. No, I PI myself. He stole the other priest's PI. That was nice, actually. And I've shielded his fiend. Uh, I fiend the rogue, but he evasions, so I swap it to the priest. Which is nice. Get the shield on the kidney. Gets blinked. He's going for the burns. He blocks it. I still have fear ward, so I'm really greedy with the double fear. Priest actually fears into the fear ward. And the priest resisted again. Did he still have shadow prot? Feel like he still had shadow prod, dude. No, he didn't. He just got lucky on that one then. Okay. No problem. Um, but yeah, the priest still has trinket available. So didn't really get good fears on the priest at all this game. This is what I mean about like, is it even worth pushing on undead? Like, he still got a trinket for the next fear. So I still need two more fears on him to do anything. It's like, it's insane. And we just end up killing the rogue with pressure anyway, like Priest is Oom. He gets CS done greater. Rogue is low, they can't recover. It's like we can just oom them if I drink at the correct time. And it's like, yeah, we could win a game fast because of a good push, but against Undead, it's almost not worth it. Because if I get feared, it kind of turns the tide so much.